everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos in this video I'm going to show you how to take body measurement for your clients or for yourself it's very easy so I will show you how to do it accurately so you know my video is all about beginner sewing so I'm gonna be using a simpler English for this tutorial so I'll be using my friend here for this tutorial so the first thing I'm going to do here is this though my friend is just very like this you know she's posing she's not standing straight but make sure your st customer stands straight like this we oh, yeah, are taking a measurement not like my friend that is because she's my mother she's posing like this so the first thing I'm going to do here is this this is my tape measure and I'll be using a simpler English for this. I'll be using straight or round body measurement. So the first measurement I'm going to take now is the straight measurement that is from my head straight down to my feet. And um, they call it vertical measurement, but I call it straight measurement for beginners so as to understand the term so now let's get to my friend and let's start with her so this is my mother here so the first i'm going to do here well i'm going to take the straight measurement so from here don't start from your collarbone you start from the top of the shoulder here from here there not there so i'm also going to do the same thing for for her as well so I'm going to place it here, like so. From your shoulder to the bust. When you are taking your bust measurement, make sure your client is wearing a bra. Or if she has a standing, you know, firm breast that stands properly, good. So from the shoulder here to the bust. That's the bust measurement. Then from there, you hold it as well move it under the breast that's what i call the under bust so from there you leave it like this i'm going to be using my my because this thing is slippery so i'm going to be using this to to attach the the tape measure to the dress so i do not move when i'm using it so from this to the boss, the under the breast. Oh, the most again. The slippery. Let me put it back. Yeah, I hope it stays well down. So from here to the under the boss, then from under the boss, straight to the waist. This is the waist here. You know, in waist we have two type of waist. We have our natural waist and our waist i did a video on how to find the natural waist please look at that video you see what i mean there so from here yeah, straight to the waist is 20 inches then i bend that again to the hip here look at the hip here here is the hip the fullest part of your hip straight down then from there straight to the knee that's the knee. Then bend them again. From there straight to the ankle. So that is straight body measurements. So now I'll go to the sleeve measurement. Now take a hand like this. I place it here, this place here. That's where you start your sleeve for this place. I'm going to do it the same to her. So from here, straight down like this is the sleeve that is before the elbow, then straight down again to the wrist. That's for the sleeve measurement so the next one i'm going to do here is the round body measurements 
they, they also call it horizontal measurement but I call it round body measurement that's a simpler version so I'm going to use my tape measure I'll be needing this because it's slippery the mannequin is slippery so I'm going to stick this round to the center slip off again so I'll just hold it like this straight so the first thing I'm going to do here is this chest measurement which is under the armpit from here that's the chest measurement you can also call it the bust measurement make sure your finger is sticking out this is the bust measurement you can also call it the chest measurement as well. Then from there, so yeah, on top of the breast, on top of the breast nipple is the boss point measurement. Make sure it's straight, like at the back as well. The under the boss measurement, the boss point measurements as well. So after that one. Before I go down this way, then I'll go to the shoulder. From this place to this place is the shoulder measurement. From here to there is the shoulder measurement. Then the next one is the ham hole measurement. This is very important for your sleeve. Take it round up like this. That is the ham hole measurement. This way, ham hole measurement. So, after that, we go to the under bust measurements. Take your bed, your tape measure like this as well. Under this place is the under bust measurement. Make sure it's straight at the back. It's the same line with this as well. That's the under bust measurement. So, from there, we go to the Natural waist measurements. Natural is always above the nipple. That's the natural waist measurements. Then we go to the waist measurements. This is the waist measurements like this as well. Make sure your finger is sticking out like this. Then the next one we go to the hip measurements. That's the hip. This is the hip measurement. The hip. Then the next one, if you want to make your trouser, you know, you can also take your time measurement if you want to. But it's not really important the trouser, but if you want to. Then your ankle as well. Put the tape measurement on your ankle to get your ankle measurements. Then we go to the bicep. The bicep is always under the armpit. So you just put it up like this. That is the bicep measurement. So the last one is the boss span, or you can call it breast span, or you can call it nipple, nipple to nipple. This nipple to nipple measurement is very important when you are drafting in your boss or your dad. So what you just do, just put it on your nipple. The tape measure has to start from here to there on the other nipple. That's how you get your nipple to go measurement. So from here like this to this place, it's your nipple to nipple. Or there is the two nipples on your breast on your breast. Go to nipple. So that's it guys about the measurement. It's very easy. So I hope you subscribe and please don't forget to share my video. So for now, one peace, one love, and bye for now.